It's probably having to be a bit horrible, <laughs> but that's also quite fun. <laughs> It was an incredible experience. Um, one of the best jobs I've been on, I think, just in terms of general vibe. Like, you know, these things are always, the tone is always set from top down, and Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds are two of the nicest, most enthusiastic and welcoming people you could wish for. Um, and it made it, it put me at great ease because I felt a lot of responsibility and pressure entering the Marvel Universe. You know, it's got one of the most expansive and adoring fan bases ever and people who've grown up from day one with these characters and it feels like you're entering a real family and um, yeah, I want, you want to do it justice. No, I never thought I'd end up in the Marvel Universe and I'm so glad I'm, I got the chance. I, I'm so glad and um, especially working with Ryan and Hugh and um, yeah, it's, it's been a dream. Favorite thing is to find out what like the motivation behind a villain's actions, I find that really interesting. You kind mm. of have to end up empathizing with them in order to really connect with why they're doing what they're doing. And I find that quite interesting. It feels like turning it on its head. Mm -hmm. And least favorite thing is probably having to be a bit horrible, <laughs> but that's also quite fun. <laughs> it really wasn't, I've been quite upfront um, yeah. <laughs> about the fact that I didn't grow up watching Marvel films or reading comics, but I'm loving getting to know that at this point in my life. And I think the beautiful thing that I've found is that no matter if you're a kid or if you're in your 20s or no matter what stage of life you are, there is something you can draw on from these characters and from these films. And it's the most beautiful community to be in. Uh, but I don't think, and yeah, in terms of preparation, I tend to just approach each role quite differently. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture of what the role demands and also very much what the director, the tone the director sets. And it was a lot of chatting with Ryan and Sean in a very casual way about what they wanted for her. Oh my gosh. I mean, every day for me was an adventure because I hadn't ever been on a film like this. I was expecting a lot of green screen, mm -hmm. but actually all the sets were sort of built and really immersive and really functional. Like things worked and came to life and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it felt like I was really in a different world. Um, and yeah, I mean, just like Ryan throwing stuff out there <laughs> was so much fun. Ooh. Maybe not the Marvel Universe in particular, because I'm still, still a learner, still <laughs> got my learner's license, but um, this universe in particular that we've created with Deadpool and Wolverine joining the MCU and this film, you know, people will be familiar with the Deadpool films and their very dark humour, satire, subversive, you know, vibe. But I think this film is so much about friendship and it's really moving and it has really tender moments that almost could make you want to cry as much as this film will make you want to wet yourself laughing. And I think that in itself is so hard to get right. And these guys have really pulled it off. But I think that honestly anyone could go and see this film stand alone no matter if you're a Marvel fan or if you've watched a Deadpool film before. Just, yeah, I think it will speak to a lot of d different people, and I think that surprised me. Ooh. Well, you know, I've just, I, I spoke before about trying to empathize with a character and where you, to find that hook into why they're doing what they're doing. And, you know, their behaviors are completely different, but I think exploring, I think a lot of what I love finding about Cassandra was, you know, her origin story and the relationship with her brother and ultimately feeling misunderstood, I think. And yeah, maybe they share that quality of maybe never quite knowing where they fit in to this world.